Let's talk about Apple's stock notes app and the ability to lock it and have it password protected and what to do in a situation where you need to reset the password. Can you do it and how can you do it? Uh, well, the thing is that uh, there are two ways or two types of resetting the password, especially for uh, the notes app. And that means that you can either remember the old password and you would like to change it to a new one or you forgot it completely and you need to like erase it and then lock it again with the new password that you're going to remember. So if you would like to change it, that means that you know the current passcode and I mean the password, of course. So you go to the settings and keep in mind that this does work on any iOS. Uh, the locking feature has been added to iOS 9.3, I believe. So um, it's been around for a while and still it works the same even running the latest iOS 15. Anyways, you go to the settings and you don't even click on anything. You just scroll to find the notes app. So you open it up and there is a section called password. And like I say, there are again two options. You can have it a touch ID or face ID enabled. When you have that, it doesn't even matter if you remember or if you forgot the password, you will still have access to it. Anyways, uh, the thing is that if you do remember the password, all you can do is to click on uh, the change password and it's going to give you the option to type in the old one that uh, you of course do remember, then twice the new one to ac actually repeat it and a hint to hint you like, just like you have it on, on, the, on the MacBook when you open it up and there is a password, you can also have there a hint just like you do have it here in uh, the notes. Anyways, you set it uh, set it up, you hit done, and you're pretty much good to go. You have a new password, and all the password-protected nodes remain password-protected and locked, but with the new password that you currently know. By the way, guys, if you are new on this channel, and if you don't want to miss the next uploads, in which I talk about some problems, some smaller issues that people have and questions about their iPhones, iPads and other Apple related products, then make sure to subscribe. So uh, maybe you not, you won't be interested in every single video, but if I cover or target your problem, then you will be notified about that or at least you will see it on your YouTube page. So consider subscribing and yeah, let's continue with the video. So the thing I was talking about is that the other option is that you forget it completely and uh, you can see the reset password, the red button there. It pretty much allows you to create a new password as it states for notes that you lock uh, in your iCloud account from now on. So uh, the notes that already have a password aren't affected. And this is important, so pay attention to it. So when you already have some password protected notes on your iPhone, clicking on the reset password option uh, on the, the button will reset, in fact, the password for the notes, but it will not give you access to the previously locked uh, notes with the old password. You simply do not have access to it unless those notes are on your iCloud account. Because as you can see, if you click on the reset password button, you have to type in the password for your iCloud account, which of course you should remember and you should always know that. So if you have your password uh, to your iCloud and uh, that uh, previous node that was logged is also on iCloud, then you will have access to it. But if it was specific to uh, that device or any other iPad, and if it was not on uh, the iCloud, then uh, you will have really hard times accessing the note and it will pretty much not be possible to do so. So always make sure that you have the face ID or a touch ID as a biometric way of accessing the note because even if you reset it uh, or you don't even remember the passcode, you forgot it, you can use your face to get access to that note as long as it's been logged with that same face ID or touch ID. It is a bit more complicated uh, than you probably expected, but Apple just don't want you to have access to notes that you don't remember the password to, like it makes sense. And if you know the uh, password to uh, the iCloud and to the Apple ID, that does mean that you should have access to that note because it can be written by someone else or whatever. So this is like another layer of protection. And 
I do not think that she can exploit it any in any way. Uh, I don't think that she will get around it. You will simply need to use either face ID or touch ID to access uh, the, the note, at least try that, or uh, just try to remember the, uh, the password, use uh, the hint that you used previously, and just try to remember it, I guess. Changing the passcode, if you remember it, is very easy, and uh, setting a new one is also easy, but it won't grant you access to those previously logged with a different password and notes. But here is another thing. Let's say that you forgot your old password for the notes and now you simply reset it with the big red reset button and using your Apple ID and stuff. So you have a new password for notes from now on. But you somehow remember or it just comes to your mind that you know the password to the previous notes. So once you access it, you find the old node, you use the old password, you get access to it. Now what? You will be asked if you want to keep using the old password or if you want to update it to the new one, to the, to the password that is used across all of the nodes that are logged within your iCloud or the device. It is definitely a good idea to keep one password for all of the nodes across the board because every time you open up a locked node, it's just not going to tell you which password you should use. It's not going to tell you that you should use the old one or whatever. You should know somehow and keep track of which uh, notes, which records use uh, the previous password and which use uh, the new one. I just think that it would make a lot more sense to use one password that is really safe and you can use it for all of the notes. Like, it just makes sense, I guess. So these were all of the things that you should know about resetting and remembering old passwords for the notes. Like, of course, there are other, other alternatives that you can try out in terms of apps or note taking apps, which allow you to log them. I mean, it's a completely different thing you should use or take a look at the, the rules or the way the third party app works in order to know more information about it. But I just cannot tell you like generally what you should do for a third party app. It's different for every single one of them. You can hide photos in notes as well. You can lock it. It's a great way as well. You can use some fake calculator apps or whatever. I mean, there are plenty of options, but I believe that it's great to rely on the stock iOS because it uses your Apple ID and it's generally considered to be a safe way of locking some private or confidential things, text, notes, whatever. So make sure to do that, but keep in mind that the password is kind of important and all the things that I said in the video, just do worry again, there's pretty much nothing that you can do about it or to go around the rules and just, it's just not gonna be possible. So anyways, uh, I just wanted to say that this is pretty much it. I want to say that uh, this is uh, the thing that I wanted to say and uh, that's all pretty much. So thanks a lot for watching and your support. See you guys later in uh, the future videos. Have a great rest of the day.